Have you ever seen that thick spooky fog in movies or at Halloween parties? That's not magic, it's dry ice. But what exactly is dry ice? Is it safe? Where did it come from and where is it used today? Stick around because in this video, we're breaking it all down simply, clearly, and yes, coolly. Dry ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide. Yep, the same gas we exhale when we breathe. Unlike regular ice made from water, dry ice doesn't melt into liquid. Instead, it sublimates, which means it changes directly from a solid to a gas. It's extremely cold, around minus 78.5 degrees Celsius, or minus 109.3 Fahrenheit. That's colder than Antarctica on its worst day. Dry ice was discovered in 1835 by French chemist Charles Tillorier. He opened a pressurized container of liquid CO2, and poof, it solidified into dry ice. At first it was just a science curiosity, but over time people realized it could be super useful. Originally, dry ice was used for refrigeration, especially before modern fridges were a thing. It kept food cold in transport, especially meat and ice cream. Today, dry ice is used in all sorts of cool ways. Pun intended. Shipping medical supplies like vaccines, creating fog effects in movies and concerts, flash freezing food, pest control in farming, and even cleaning industrial equipment using dry ice blasting. Now, dry ice is super useful, but it can also be dangerous if not handled correctly. Extreme cold can cause frostbite if it touches your skin. As it sublimates, it releases carbon dioxide gas, which can build up in closed spaces and reduce oxygen. That's risky for breathing. Also, if stored in a tightly sealed container, the gas can cause it to explode. Always use gloves or tongs, store it in ventilated areas, and never seal it in an airtight box. Thinking of using dry ice at home? Here are some fun yet safe ideas. Add a small piece to warm water in a bowl to make fog, but keep it away from kids and pets. Dry ice keeps food frozen longer than regular ice. It works in closed spaces to remove insects by pushing out oxygen, but make sure humans aren't in the room. So dry ice, it's more than just spooky fog. It's a powerful tool in science, food, and medicine. But remember, handle it with care and always keep safety first. Like this cool science breakdown? Hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, and drop your questions in the comments.